Global Zone Master Planning. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 600. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and stewardship. Hey everyone, Jay again here for our September 16th, 2024 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is pioneering a global zonal master planning. And that's a little bit of a mouthful, so I'm gonna explain it from a permaculture perspective first and tie it into everything that you see happening in the background of this video, which are the components that we're building for this master planning and how it would be rolled out, how it will be rolled out on a global scale. And so from permaculture perspective, uh, you look at a system and you say, all right, this system has challenges right now. And what we need to do is we're going to come in as stewards, as the keystone species, and we are going to integrate in with that system and we're going to make it sustainable. Not just sustainable, we're going to make it regenerative and self-sustaining. So there's a big difference between sustainable and self-sustaining because self-sustaining means that once it's up and running, it actually takes effort to take it down and break it down and try and remove it. Like a food forest, once a food forest is established, it will continue to self-propagate, to continue to sustain itself unless you come in there and actually start cutting it down and trying to destroy it because you've made an ecosystem. And so pioneering global zonal master planning is applying these ideas of permaculture on a global scale. And on the very basic level, the idea is about efficiency. And so in permaculture, you have different zones. You have zone zero, which is like where you live, this is where you spend all your time. Then you have zone one, it's like, hey, this is areas that you're, you're, you're participating in frequently on almost a daily basis. Then you have zone two, which would be like, okay, you go here probably every week. Then you have zone three, probably go here every you know once or two weeks. Zone four would be not so often. And then zone five would be like, hey, this is outside. It might be the wild. And so you may go there every once in a while. It's there for recreation, et cetera. But it doesn't require a lot of hands-on and is not an area that you're hands-on managing or stewarding directly. And so the idea of pioneering global zonal master planning is taking that same idea and looking at the world's challenges right now and recognizing that in zones that need a lot of help, just throwing money at those zones doesn't make a lot of sense and has been demonstrated not to be effective through things like farm aid and a lot of these programs that have raised billions of dollars but not actually solved the underlying challenges and because of climate change and things like that a lot of these challenges are beginning becoming way way worse and affecting underprivileged populations way more than the rest of the world because they don't have the resources to address these challenges and we see that from a global zonal master planning perspective as an opportunity and an opportunity not to throw money at the problem, but an opportunity to take all the infrastructure that you see happening in the background of, video, of this video here and building teacher demonstration hubs in those environments designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. And so instead of giving them resources, we're teaching them we're providing the resources necessary to create additional resources and teaching the people how to replicate that model itself. Teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create additional teacher demonstration hubs. And so a model designed to replicate and to make it self-replicating, we are open sourcing and free sharing everything that you see happening in the background of this video and building the first of these within the United States so that it is within driving distance of people that have the resources to be able to go and lead the construction of teacher demonstration hubs around the world and making it open source and free shared so we can demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and the experience of living in them as attractive enough for the idea to spread its own. 
And so the way that we're pioneering this global zonal master planning is that we are open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of these teacher demonstration hubs. And we've broken them into the physical foundations, which everybody's familiar with, their food, energy, and housing. We're combining those with the emotional foundations, which we've identified and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship as a pathway to providing a more enriching and luxuriant life experience, maximizing the richness over the riches of life. So it's affordable, it's replicable, and it provides a way of living that most we people will consider to be far superior to the way they're living right now. And so the more fun and enjoyment we can demonstrate having within these communities built on radical sustainability that reduces the cost of living, that reduces the carbon footprint, reduces the impact, and is not just, like I said, sustainable, but regenerative and designed to replicate and teach others how to build ecosystems and how to demonstrate ourselves as that keystone species capable of stewarding our environment and giving more than we take and building these ecosystems with us as part of the ecosystem. This is our idea for pioneering global zonal master planning. It's recognizing that different economic situations, different climactic situations, different uh, social situations as well, and in the United States, like an urban environment versus a rural environment, how do we build something that can provide something for everyone and different values systems? You know, We want to bring together people with shared values and interests, but shared values and interests are very radically different for different people. So we're creating these open source plans so they can be implemented regardless of what people's values and interests are. And we're designing it as a model to demonstrate like, hey, this is a better way to go. And if you'd like to just build the housing component, or you just like to build the energy component, or you just like to eat the best, most nutritious, locally grown, more diverse food, like here's how you can do that within your environment. And maybe it's a rooftop garden in an urban environment, or maybe it's a community-based education program in an urban environment because you can't build a complete community, or maybe it's retrofitting something like some of these shopping malls that are completely falling apart and creating the first urban environment-centered eco-community built on something like that with rooftop gardens and incorporating all the different components all that stuff is possible that's not how we're starting because we want to demonstrate how to build on raw land so we can incorporate you know soil amendment and all these different aspects which we think are essential to global sustainability but it's designed to be implemented anywhere and so when we talk about pioneering global zonal master planning, it's thinking that way. It's thinking about master planning and thinking about the different zones around the world and how do we create something for everyone and how do we open source and free share it so that people have the access that they need and the easy to follow free shared plans to use to build this. And so that's what we're doing. And we're an all volunteer organization doing it. We are a nonprofit organization, we're a non-governmental organization. We worked with over 1,200 volunteers at this point, and we are creating this as the ultimate grassroots movement for global sustainability and creating a world that works for everyone within our lifetime. We're doing this because we want to live this way, and we think that anybody else who wants to live this way should have a path to these, what we like to call breakthrough living and thriving models built on radical sustainability, designed to be teacher demonstration hubs to teach other people how to do this as well. Demonstrating the incredible potential of humanity to dig ourselves out of the current hole that we have created for ourselves and to truly steward this planet the way that we're capable of. There is no planet B. And the innovative designs and improved approaches and solutions necessary to turn this ship around and to create the world that we know is possible and that is capable of sustaining life and, and meeting the needs of all people everywhere, it already exists. All this already exists. What's needed and what we're creating is a clear path. It's a really, really clear path designed around local solutions that anyone can implement because we're creating the step-by-step -step instruction. So this is what one community is up to and everybody's invited to participate. If you'd like to participate in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe. If you'd like a weekly dose of super positivity uh, with these kinds of videos and seeing what we're up to, uh, subscribe through our, our website to our newsletter and you'll get one email a week from us sharing these weekly progress updates and with a link to our 
blog, our written blog. So if you'd like to see, a lot of people are like, wait, do you call it a weekly progress update? But like, where, what is it that you guys did? That's what a written blog is about. I mean, these aren't interesting enough if we talk about that kind of stuff in these videos. We used to do it, people didn't like it. And so now all that is in our written blog and you can go back for 10, 12 years and see exactly what it is that every member of our all volunteer team has accomplished for that week and watch these videos that we've been talking about and see that. And of course, if you'd like to see all of our open source content, you can visit our website, you can subscribe, like and subscribe, and um, and join us on social media. We're on all the different social media accounts. And of course, if you stick around for a couple more minutes, you'll see bullet points on all the major components of our project, uh, talking about exactly what those, those contain. And uh, yeah, that's it. Welcome to One Community. Thanks for watching the end. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.